Resilience, I think, is going to be the defining agenda of your lifetime, um, if not my lifetime. The team, including myself, decided to run um, a development competition, the format of which would be an open design competition to students and graduates eligible to work in the UK. Well, I think the, the purpose of the competition is actually to sort of introduce the concept of resilience. Resilience is something that is very hard to define and trying to come up with the framework was quite difficult. The challenge of resilience at the moment is there are no snappy models. The entrants had to define a city, define what it's resilient to, define the ways in which it's resilient and why it's a good case study. Um, and we encourage variety. Cities could be of any size and located anywhere within the world. I think it's going to be really challenging uh, for anyone to enter into this competition to try and capture all of their ideas onto two sides of A3 paper, onto two posters. I mean, um, you're talking about an entire city here. You're talking about all of the people within it and all of the infrastructure. I mean, it's absolutely a phenomenal amount um, of, of information to get across. But it's a chance to really show what's important. It's a chance to really show the ideas in a very beautiful, attractive way. Frankly, I didn't think of Delhi. Uh, it wasn't my first choice. When I heard about this competition, these were the three cities that came to mind. Copenhagen, Curitiba, and Chicago. I thought Chicago, with access to 20% of the world's fresh water, has to be the most resilient city. But with further research, I realized that re resilience is so much more than just being rich in resources. I entered the competition because I was, I was very interested in the, in the idea of a resilient city. I think that it comes with every competition that you, you feel like somebody's going to listen to what you've got to say. It was mainly I was, I was intrigued to see how resilient Edinburgh actually was. By studying Bangladesh, for example, I saw so many of our own systems within the UK that I thought oh, were weak. And so I think you learn to open your eyes a lot more about the, about the entire world and about each city and, and, and what we can improve on ourselves. My focus really centered on um, people that didn't look like they were resilient. Um, for, I think my, uh, the case study involved examples such as Kalingalinga, which is one of the most one of the poorest slums, and I didn't personally think that they would have any strategy, but the people themselves had strategies on how to uh, um, protect their own houses. Trying to put it in a thousand words was almost almost impossible. <laughs> Resilience is um, something that we're struggling with as a concept, certainly in the international development sector that I work in, because. You know, we, d we don't necessarily always work in the urban environment, and that's where the majority of the world's poor are going to be living. So we have to be thinking about resilience in the future. So this competition was an amazing opportunity to, to crowdsource all of these incredible ideas, to bring them together into one place, and uh, we're learning a lot from it. The competition has been a real success. Looking at website hits, we got over 9,000 from almost 6,000 unique visitors. The reach spread to about 83 countries around the world. Um, this is testament to working with an organization like Engineers Without Borders, which already has um, a strong and established network. If you can see the yellow dots there, these were the cities that were selected by our entrance. And as we'd hoped, we had a spread from all across the world. With the way that the world is changing so quickly and there are problems that are popping up that we would never have expected before and so I think resilience is a topic that is going to be very, very important within the next 10 years. So be vocal, be change agents. There's a world that needs you. Um, and thank you very much um, for entering the competition.